reports on Ethereal's first races as a three-year-old had a common theme, ran on late. Her sixth run at Counties on Valentine's Day 2001 followed the same pattern. Ethereal challenging strongly, and here's Latte two to one down the outside for O'Sullivan. Latte dashes up. Ethereal fights again on the inside. Ethereal goes back to Latte. Ethereal the nose in front as they go to the post, and oh, got there. Ethereal just from Latte noses. Ethereal's heart-stopping first win earned three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. The following year, the filly with the massive ticker had boosted her stakes to more than six million. She would also be heading for the broodmare paddock with four Group 1 victories, her reputation enshrined by a Caulfield and Melbourne Cups double. Ethereal was bred by Pencaro's stud Sir Peter and Philip Vela. They had already experienced international success with her dam, Romani Conti, in the 93 Hong Kong Cup. The sire was Rhythm, the 1989 US champion two-year-old. Trainer Sheila Laxon bonded with Ethereal at Monga Tautari, the riverside facility developed by her husband Laurie, trainer of Melbourne Cup winner Empire Rose. The sandy tracks and hills provided perfect strengthening opportunities. Ethereal added two more New Zealand races and the listed Doombin Roses to her resume before the Queensland Oaks in June. Her withering late run caught everyone by surprise. But it's El Tiro, the leader with 100 to go. Life is beautiful, and now Tempest Morn. Tempest Morn and El Tiero. And look at this, Ethereal from the tail of the field, by golly. Oh, Ethereal's come from nowhere to be in a photo here with Tempest Morn, and there's a split inch in this. There was actually a bit more. Ethereal's dazzling finish claiming a first group one with Scott Seymour in the saddle. He hadn't been the first choice jockey but his competitive edge and will to win sealed the partnership for Laxon. A feature race at the Victorian Spring Carnival was targeted, and Macedon Lodge was recommended as the base because it provided similar conditions to Munga Tautari. Laxon only galloped Ethereal a couple of times, concentrating on conditioning work. The method paid off in the Caulfield Cup in October. Passing the 200 metres now, and it's Ethereal Sky Heights and Celestial Show over on the inside. Ethereal Celestial Show and Sky Heights, three of them fighting out the race. Ethereal Celestial Show, Sky Heights, they hit the line. Ethereal, Ethereal won it by a short half head to Sky Heights and Celestial Show in a photo. It was another heart stopper, and this time it was just a nose in it. Seema was having the time of his life. The Caulfield Cup, the third win on the day for the Queenslander at his first Spring Carnival. Ethereal was Melbourne's darling. But a Cups double was not on the agenda. The plan was to send her to Hong Kong to repeat the efforts of her dam, Romani Conti. The plans changed a few days later. And on the first Tuesday in November, Ethereal found herself in the Melbourne Cup field chasing down the runaway leader. Get the slip over on the inside, the leader from Persian Punch. Here comes Ethereal down the outside, followed by Karazi, and then may the horse be with you. Give the slip well clear at the 200 metre mark, though. Down the outside is Ethereal starting to close. Give the slip with Ethereal coming home. Give the slip in front. Ethereal's coming hard. The Caulfield Cup has grabbed the lead, and Ethereal does the double. Ethereal's won it from Give the Slip. Ethereal showed her fighting spirit to overhaul the runaway leader in the straight in the biggest race of her life, becoming just the third mare to complete the Cup's double. For Laxon, it was also a career highlight, officially the first woman to train a Melbourne Cup winner. How do you top the glory of a Cup's double just nine months after the first race win? Fortunately, the Group 1 BMW stakes at Rose Hill in March would prove to be just as memorable. At the 300, Rain Gage got to dress circle and Freemason tie the knot and Universal Prince Rain Gage Bateman pulls the whip but Universal Prince is claiming the Victorian. It's Universal Prince and Rain Gage. Ethereal starting to fly. Universal Prince hits the front. Ethereal, go! Oh, yes! Did Ethereal make it? To the naked eye looks as though it might have. Once again, Ethereal's trademark finishing burst claimed the honours. But it was to be the last salute for Ethereal at the track. It was decided not to risk a trip to Europe, and she was retired for broodmare duties. 
Ethereal's career extended to 21 starts with eight wins and four places. The four Group 1s produced prize money of more than $6 million. The Cups double and the BMW earning her the Australian Champion Stayer title in 2002. Ethereal had immediate success in the broodmare paddock. Her first foal, Uberales, won the Group 2 Great Northern Guineas and was third in the Group 1 New Zealand Derby. The colt, Ethereus, sold for $1.3 million at the Caraca Premier sale in 2007. Ethereal was doing her part to continue the tradition of breeding success at Pencaro's stud. <laughs>